extra depth on the murder of a woman by her own son. It devastated the family and stunned the community. Gloria Marmolejo, a beloved mother and sister, was first reported missing, last seen at her home in East El Paso. Her family said they didn't know who could hate her enough to murder her, but police said her son killed her, and they also learned other secrets he carried that were tearing his family apart. This story is an ABC7 original. Summer 2009, Gloria Marmolejo was days away from turning 54. The divorcee and young grandmother had recently retired from a career in the Texas Workforce Commission. She now had more time for friends and family. Gloria took an extended vacation to Arizona to be closer to one of her two sons, Manny Marmolejo, and his family. But on Saturday, July 25th, she decided she would return home to El Paso, and no one heard from her again. She calls us when she goes to the mall. She calls us when she goes to the store. She contacts us every time she takes a move anywhere. Gloria's brother, Mark Huerta, told ABC7 on July 30th that's why he and Manny called El Paso police to report Gloria missing. Manny then told them why Gloria returned to El Paso. She had uh, driven down here uh, to be with uh, her mom and her son, David. Detective Joe Ochoa met with Gloria's younger son, 29-year-old David Marmolejo, and he learned David didn't know his mom had planned to visit. In fact, David said he was at the movies in Northeast El Paso that evening when Gloria called, asking him to go to the house and unlock a bedroom door. David said he left the theater, got to the house on the east side, they talked, he helped her unpack, and he headed back to the theater. He even showed detectives his phone log, saying the last time he heard from his mom was at 5.40 p.m., 26 minutes after her first call. He told detectives he was already heading back to the Northeast. Investigators were skeptical. His story was not making sense. Being a lifelong El Pasoan, you know, kind of know how long it takes to get from the Northeast to the East Side, East Side to the West Side, mm -hmm. and things like that, at what time of the day. And if you haven't seen your mom in three months, you're gonna, say hello, give her a kiss, and go back to your friends. The investigators weren't alone thinking David's story was odd. David's brother Manny had his own concerns. He came in and said, you know what? I don't want to say it, but everybody's thinking it. Something's not right. Uh, what David's telling us doesn't make sense. His reaction to my mom missing is not what we expect from somebody that uh, loves her mom, loves his mom, you know, somebody that last saw her Manny also told investigators Gloria wanted the element of surprise. She wanted to see if his girlfriend was living at her house. She disapproved of 18-year-old Mariah Wilson because the young woman was also David's stepsister. Less than a week after Gloria arrived in El Paso, her body was found in Santa Teresa. We don't know who could have that kind of hate or who could have that kind of anger. In my latest episode of ABC 7's Borderland Crimes podcast, what police learned from David's phone records and his own girlfriend that made him the prime suspect. But what did you think he had done? I, at that point, I thought he had done something that he shouldn't have done. Like what? Something maybe possibly to his mother. You'll hear David's explanation for the holes in his alibi the night his mother was last seen alive. Well, that's inaccurate. Something's wrong there. Okay. Something's very wrong there. Something's very inaccurate there. Yes, sir. And I'll probably leave it up to you to explain that because that doesn't make sense whatsoever at all. And find out why, despite all the evidence against him, he almost got away with it. The murder of Gloria Marmolejo is this episode of Borderline Crimes, sponsored by University Medical Center of El Paso. Download it now wherever you get your podcasts and on kvie.com. Stephanie Valle, ABC7.